Hey guys, it's Blue, and today I have our Duelist Kingdom Yugi deck profile update. So, uh, you may have just seen recently we did Pegasus versus Yugi from Duelist Kingdom, uh, a fun throwback to the old school of Yu Gi Oh! Um, in between our releases of new Yu Gi Oh! GX decks. You know, it's nice to go back to Duelist Kingdom every so often. Uh, obviously, Duelist Kingdom was where they just made up so many things. You know, we, we tried to adapt that as well as anyone else uh, so that, you know, our, our duels did feel like Duels Kingdom Duels. It's not just the deck, you know. We're not tributing for the five, six, seven, eight star monsters. There's 2,000 life points. You get one attack every turn. We do enjoy when we come back. All right, Yugi's deck. Starting up, Yugi's Mighty Beaver Warrior. Um, a whopping 1,200 attack points. I mean, that meant something in Ghoul's Kingdom, but, uh, you know, compared to everything else, it's not that. But Beaver Warrior, I think, is something we all remember growing up with. It was just, I don't know, I thought it was fun. Uh, I'm really bummed it, it hasn't had a, a retrain yet. I would love a retrain Beaver Warrior. Um, but we're not there yet. So Beaver Warrior is the first card, followed by Celtic Guardian, which has had retrains. Um... So, you know, it's just, it was, it was fun. The old school stuff was, uh, you know, fun. The monsters were not OP. They didn't have a lot of effects. Everyone had vanillas and just, it was swords and spells and, you know, some interesting things. Curse of Dragon. Of course, Dark Magician, Yu-Gi-Oh! Signature Monster, Duelist Kingdom, every season, all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Magician. Um, and it's, it's, Duel's Kingdom is great because you can just summon him. You don't have to worry about tributing. That's what holds us back a lot of duels is just that, you know, two tributes is, is just kind of, uh, you know, maybe we don't have the two monsters or the two, you're better off with two monsters. But Duel's Kingdom is fun. You just put it on the board and then you go and wreck Blue Eyes White Dragons. Feral Imp, uh, you know, also something. Let's see a retrain. I'd love to see more retrains in general. Um, but especially a lot of the Duelist Kingdom monsters because these are the monsters you grew up with because almost every episode Yugi was dropping these guys. And even though they didn't really make appearances later on in Bow City, you're waking the dragons or Grand Championship because the monsters ultimately don't have enough, you know, muscle to stick around. It's still just a real nostalgia factor. So you know, yeah, never thought you'd hear so much said about Feral Imp and Beaver Warrior, but, you know, here we are. Guy of the Fierce Knight, a lot of retrains. Giant Soldier of Stone. Griffor. Kamori Dragon. Mammoth Graveyard, we're definitely not going to talk about the time he fused it with Living Arrow and shot Blue Eyes Ultimate and then rotted it out. And I don't know. Hologram is knocking people off of castle walls. It was a weird time in Duelist Kingdom, right? Like, it was a lot of fun. There were some really cool things. Then they made up a bunch of things, and here we are. So, but give Konami some time, and I'm sure they'll come up with a way to make a... Uh, Mammoth Graveyard Decaying Blue Eyes Ultimate uh, card inspired by the anime, like Attack the Moon. So, Mystical Elf, Silver Fang, Summon Skull, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, number one. Because um, they were just looking for more words to put on the card. That finished up Yugi's Vanilla Monsters. He has a couple of facts and rituals, of course. You know this if you watch the anime, which most of you did. Maybe not all of you, but, guys, but, um, but again, like I said, there's a lot of Vanillas, and it's just an old-school beatdown style of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's fun for what it is. Catapult Turtle does some nice damage in Duel's Kingdom. Karibo prevents some nice damage in Duel's Kingdom. Black Luster Soldier. And Magician of Black Chaos. Yuki pulling out the rituals was just amazing. I mean, the Black Luster Soldier against Mai, 
Uh, and she just straight up surrendered. We didn't even see Blackluster do its thing. Um, she just said, no, I'm good, done. She, she knew is was over with that card. Against Pegasus, he pulls out another amazing, powerful ritual. Uh, Magician of Black Chaos. And I say powerful in terms of Bulls Kingdom again. That, I thought it was a great way to end the uh, that final showdown with Yugi and Pegasus. All right. Blackluster Ritual. Black Magic Ritual. Uh, it, so with our Pegasus deck, there's duplicates of everything because he didn't play as many cards. We didn't see him in as many duels. Uh, Yugi played enough cards. The card's not here. It's not because we didn't, we didn't forget it. We just, you know, didn't make the cut. So, but, you know, I, we do try to address the parallels or lack thereof between decks because, you know, they're all different. Main characters like Yugi have one of everything and they're missing some cards. Uh, characters that don't play as much tend to have duplicates. So, uh, Book of Sacred Arts, Brain Control, Burning Land, Detonate. So, this is a nice addition to his deck. Uh, this was obviously not an actual card in the anime. This was the effect of Karibo with Multiply. And, you know, we threw it in because... Even though it's not a card, it was a thing Yugi did, and it adds a little bit of, um, you know, flair or spice by like detonate. You know, we always like to see, you know, Karibo stuff as well. Horn of the Unicorn, Polymerization, Maki the Magical Mist, Monster Reborn, Monster Recovery. Multiply, really trying to flesh out that Karibo strategy. Mystic Box. Mystical Moon. Spell Shattering Arrow. And the last card is Yugi's Ever Faithful Swords of Revealing Light, which do not hold up the Castle of Dark Illusions without its... Uh, flotation ring. Maybe Konami will find a way to translate some of these into cards, or maybe they just leave it alone because they know it was a little bit much. Horn of Heaven. Magical Hats. Uh, Longtime fans of the channel know that this card used to be um, errated, that we played it with uh, a different effect than the printed card being the anime effect, that there were uh, four hats total. So as the card effect says, get two non-monsters from your deck and then add that to the one on the field and you have three options. We up that to three non-monsters from the deck plus the one on the field, then you had four options because in the anime, there were four hats. On the card picture, there's four hats, but the effect says three hats. We went back to the printed uh, card because it was just easier, um, you know, it's not a one extra hat, debatably, is, is or isn't a big deal. It depends where you fall on the, the math on that one. But anyway, uh, not anymore with magical hats. And we don't really feel like we lost the Mirror Force. Staple Yugi. It was always fun when Yugi pulled that out. Shift. Spellbinding Circle. So Yugi definitely has... a the most variety in spells and traps of all the dual skin and characters. I mean, it was, like I said, a lot of beat stick. Um, but Yugi being the main character had spells and traps for all the situations. So his deck definitely stands out among the other dual skin decks um, in terms of variety. And then the Eye of Truth being the last card. So on to the extra deck. I'll go through it one by one. So you have Beast Skull Dragon. Uh, he did this in the tag duel with Joey in the Labyrinth against the Paradox Brothers. Um, we have it in Yugi's deck, although if we were to recreate that tag duel, either player would be allowed to make this monster and, of course, can only be made in that tag duel. Like in our recent Yugi versus Pegasus, this just kind of sits so you can't make it at all. Dark Sage. 
So the interesting thing with Dark Sage is that it actually the effect is like the anime where you have to have a Dark Magician, use Time Wizard's effect, call it right to, quote, age it, and then it turns into Dark Sage. That is the more accurate to the anime method of summoning. However, Dark Sage and Thousand Dragon both exist under the same circumstances where they're just aged up versions of monsters from Time Wizard. Thousand Dragon was a wizard printed as a fusion. Dark Sage has the whole more accurate but harder to pull off effect. And what we did was treat Dark Sage like a fusion, like Thousand Dragon. We could have made Thousand Dragon like Dark Sage and made it in the main deck, and then you have to call it, um, you know, or since we fudged the rules, we could have put it in the extra deck, but still made it so you have to call it with Time Wizard. And ultimately, we're just treating it as a fusion of Time Wizard and Dark Magician. So that's what Dark Sage is here in the extra deck, treating it like Thousand Dragon. Next up is Dragon Master Knight. So this came into the virtual world arc um, for the mini series that came after Duel's Kingdom. He made this with Kaiba's Blizz Ultimate. So actually, right now, we're sorry guys, we're three for three um, in terms of fusions that Yugi cannot make without having another player present. But these all came out of the anime, and we want to make sure that they're recreatable. If we ever have a situation where you have Liz Ultimate and Black Cluster Soldier, but otherwise it just sits idle in the extra deck. And the last monster in his extra deck is hey, look, it's Guy of the Dragon Champion, something we saw him play in Duel's Kingdom that he can make on his own. So this is really Yuki's only fusion that he has the cards to make. So this is the one that in a solo duel you would see Yuki use. So that finishes up Yuki's extra deck. You know, it's four cards, some of them situational to summon, but if there's ever an opportunity to get them out, um, you know, we love seeing those come out. But that is the deck profile for Yugi's uh, Duelist Kingdom deck. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when we have new videos dropping. And if you like this deck and want to make your own copy of it, Check out our affiliate link in the description for TCG Player. That's where we get a lot of our cards. And if you buy cards to build this deck using our affiliate link, it supports us and we use that to invest into more decks for you guys. See you guys. Thank you guys so much for checking out that video. And if you like this, we have more than 100 different character decks on our channel. So check out those for more of the same awesome content. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll get notified every time we have a new upload.